Hey, what's good, YouTube? You're back in with Cam, and welcome to my Call of Duty World War II Free For All Noob series. Once again, this is a series where I'll provide map walkthroughs for each Free For All map, highlight hotspots, and provide helpful tips to players new to the game or Free For All in general. And hopefully, we'll be able to help uh, those people improve their gameplay in Free For All, help them get in the winner's circle more, and help more uh, help <laughs> help them have more fun with the game in general. Uh, before we start the video, I'm going to give you a quick disclaimer here. If you happen to be an MLG Pro, No Scopes, God Mode, Quad Feeds, Quick Scopes, Man B, Swag Master at this game, then I'm just going to have to say it up front, this video is not for you. We'll see you later. Um, quite frankly, the video will bore you to tears. I don't want to waste your time. So thank me for that. You can go on and watch some other dank kill feed montages out there on YouTube. Um, but if you still watch the video... And comment that it bored you uh, or didn't help you at all because you are absolutely amazing ridiculously awesome at this game in free-for-all then while well, you still are an MLG pro no scopes god mode quad feed quick scopes man be swag master at this game but you also happen to be an idiot XD now that being said if you did feel the video helped in any way please feel free to drop a like and a comment uh, if I did miss something also please let me know and share with us so that way Others will be able to learn from your wisdom, and we can all laugh at my noobishness. Our next uh, video here, we are doing Gibraltar. And after uh, I do the walkthrough, of course, I'll have a game example of my gameplay, uh, of one of my matches for it. Uh, I'll have a mini-map, um, or not mini-map, but I'll have a map example overlay here in just a moment. And Gibraltar is, uh, it's, a me it's a nice medium-sized map, I have a love-hate relationship with it. There's a lot of in, ins and outs, though. Um, so uh, it's you got to know where you're going. Uh, you got to know the hot spots, and you got to watch out for spawns in this guy. Um, a lot of times, I found I've been spawned right into the game, only to get shot like a second later. Uh, especially on the top side of the map. So I'm definitely going to go over that in a in a few moments. Um, hot spots can vary in this map as well. Very frequently, there is a couple of them. But they they can move, so you really gotta watch the flow of uh, the flow of the gameplay to be on top of it. Also, just to watch your back in general. All Free right, fall. count us in. All right, this is where it's starting me. Okay. Alright, I'm just gonna move straight up to the top. Move turn out, off, take position. <laughs> turn off my now. mic because I'm not talking to anyone. Alright, so this is a little tunnel here. Um, we'll get back to it. But uh, ultimately, a little sniping area here to catch people poking out through there, people running through this area. Here we go. So, I find that. Um, a lot of spawning happens up in this top area or down on the bottom side. Um, when you spawn here, be very careful. You will find a lot of people in this area, either in this house, running to this house. Uh, they'll be in here. They've just gone down there. Like, just be very careful. Listen, you'll hear people crunching around. This is a fairly high traffic area. You will see people popping out of the tunnel, uh, coming from the central area. But this is a pretty high traffic area. Don't seem fooled. Every once in a while, it can seem a little bit dead. But the next time you come through, you will get shot up. So uh, this is the top spawn. And there's a lot of options to go with. This house, I mean, there's not really much in the way of... You know, you can come back here, but you have to hope people are running out of the tunnel there. So I would only come here as a, um, a reaction if I know someone's coming back here. Uh, that goes into this uh, house here. Lots of ins and outs, so this is just kind of like a, I don't know, maybe a vehicle. Play. Oh, it's a security booth. Ah, sorry. A little dartboard. Bullseye! Um, there is an MG42. I've never seen anyone use this um, in free-for-all. Team deathmatch or objectives, sure, it makes sense, I guess, but um, you can hop out of this. And just a little path here. Um... In all of these little housing areas up here, just always be very, very conscious of people coming out of nowhere. Use your hearing, if not your map, 
because a lot of people will there's not much action that happens in the tunnel but a lot of people are coming to and from the tunnel right so this is our center courtyard area uh, this little entry doesn't really do anything <laughs> at all it just brings you out here i generally tend to avoid running down here it's just like it is in gibraltar it's a wide open area it's a long run to get behind cover people up here can see you the bridge can see you uh people up there can see you you can be seen here from up there it's just a death zone it's a zone of death don't go in there you can run in here if you wish i don't know i don't do it too often in fact i don't really come down here very often this is a central courtyard so, uh, in this area, this is where we came from, at the top area, right? So you can either go down the road there if you really want to, or you can come up here. And you will find the center courtyard is a bit of a hot spot. Some people will come right here to camp out and wait for you right here. Uh, they might even lay down here and try and, and catch you there. Uh, right here sometimes, people will wait and try and catch here, catch there. I don't see this happen too often, nor do I see people on this area too much. Every once in a while I'll see them pop down here, but this isn't a very high traffic area that I've found in free-for-all. Um, that brings us over here. You can pop out over here, it's a nice view for any idiots who are running down that way. And you got some old stairs coming down here. So the hotspot in general for the top area is from here and up and up in there. Any one of these buildings, all the ins and outs here, this is these are hotspots that that'll come and go. You can hop over this and you can hop back up as well. Forgot to mention. So this area kind of splits the map into you have your high side and you have your low side, which we'll go through in a minute here this gives you entry into this little house this is this bottom part is a hot spot in general we'll get to that in a second and this brings us to our lower area that's the tunnel that we started out in and that is the little snipey spot in the tunnels that's there uh, when you come out here just listen you won't see too many firefights happening in this area at all you'll see passers-by every once in a while so be aware of it and just be conscious when you're coming out of that tunnel you can see people there, not too often people are camping out in there, but a lot of times when you spawn, you'll spawn right here. I've seen, I've, I've seen spawns, so I'll run up, pop up here real quick, because I want to get out of the open. There's too many open areas. While it's a low traffic area, it's still wide open, so I want to get out of here. Um, from this area, so you can go down that way, you have a nice view in, in the courtyard. And right here, you can catch people there. So that's a little, it's not a camping area. It's its a medium hotspot from time to time. You'll see people popping out on there. Little tank here. That is our other entrance that we were at on the other side. And this is the bottom area. So that's kind of like halfway point where that courtyard, this is the bottom area. And from here, there is a little, you know, side path here so you can catch people there. Um, this is a spawn point. I've been, I spawn in here fairly regularly. So you can come right up and get right back into the lower side action. Right back in here. Catch people there. Uh, let's get back to the outside though. We'll do center in a minute. So of course you can get up into this little uh, devil's bellows, okay. Um, you can pop down in this area. This is just a little house. Into this under area. And we're down to our low side. So this has a little house. Um, well, not a house, just an area. I don't see too much action in here aside from people running in and out um, to get to here. But even up here, I don't see too many people just hanging out too often. So this whole lower area uh, is a hot spot. Um, maybe not the sides, like this part area, not so much. But as we come down around the bottom side of the map, this whole kind of bottom horseshoe can be a hot spot. You just have to watch and be aware of where it is because it'll shift from the bottom side to the top side. You just have to be aware of where you are. This little area brings us right back to this lower courtyard. And you can pop up here if you wish. So we have the brigade headquarters, this little in and out. People can hide out in here, try and catch you moving out of there, running there. 
Also, you can pop up here, right? Catch people running there. Not too many people are going there, though. I do find people are up here fairly regularly, trying to catch a view of people running down here, here, or in there. Uh, that entrance to the central courtyard, this area here and over here, is a very regular place for people to be running. And you can hop over this if you wish. Yeah. So when I spawn in down here, I'm looking and listening for people in this area. There's almost always someone around somewhere. This little entry point gives you just a little view here of people walking. You catch people over there, here, and of course there's a little ladder that you can climb if you so choose. Uh, ladder climbing, I don't recommend it in deathmatch just because anyone can pop you up and catch you on it, and you are just you get caught with the pants down. Um, you can pop up behind this rock a little bit. Um, but this is a general hotspot. This area, these paths here, this area is a hotspot because you can catch people here, here, uh, running down this path. So you're really going to have to be aware. Listen, look at your map, see where people are. Um, a lot of times people will just kind of camp out right here and just wait. And boop, gotcha. Or they'll be right here. Boop, gotcha. Uh, they might try and camp out right here, watch for people here and waiting for people to run by. You'll see a lot of corner camping uh, in this area. And then this is a high traffic area in and of itself just because it's a transition from the courtyard right into hot spot here, traffic here, traffic there. It's also a quick uh, path to catch someone up there or back up the other side. Some people will just do a circle right around here, right? They'll just do a little circuit in this area. So that is the lower hot spot. You really got to be conscious of it down here. Um, let's pop out over here. Uh, like I said, there's not too much activity here. So camping out and hanging out down here is not going to really wield you too much results because other people will be racking up kills all throughout the rest of the map. Uh, but this brings us back to our little tunnel. And you can kind of hold out here if you want. Um, I, I only recommend doing it if you're under fire. Or try if you hear someone coming and you're trying to bait them. That's uh, the other sniper area. This brings us right back into this top area. Right? And then you can also kind of pop up behind the tunnel to the cave <laughs> in here. And I think you can jump up here. Yep, you can jump over. Brings us back to our high spawn point. Uh, like I said, the hot spot up here will vary between the top part of the courtyard and just in and around the cave area and into these houses. So just like the bottom side, Got to use your listening. Where are people firing? Look at your mini map and be very careful when you spawn. <laughs> so, with that being said, uh, I'll transition into the, the video of my example of one of my wins. And uh, if you liked anything about the video, if it helped you, please feel free to drop a like, drop a comment. And until the next video, thanks so much for watching and enjoy your games. Free for all. Stay wary, pick your shots. Recon airborne. Recon aircraft destroyed. Recon flight concluded.
try to strike inbound. Find cover. 